Well, first up, um, just the, the Blackpool game, have you had time to reflect? And what are your feelings a few days on, Graham? Um, still the same, still the same as last week. Um, it hurt me. Um, I, I didn't expect it. Um, nor did I, uh, I, I think we'd, we'd come away with that, that, that result. I was very, very confident. I think the lads were, I think the fans were, everybody was very, very confident. It, probably up until 26, 27 minutes in the game. And then we sleep in on a, on a, on a deep free kick. Um, we allowed them to take a quick and then we make, a, we make a, an error. But like I said last week, if, if Ollie Clark's uh, chance goes in, instead of coming off the base of the post, if that goes in the net, it's a totally different game. So my me, me, views and my opinions haven't changed. We put the DVD on on Monday. We went through with the players. Um, I thought uh, the six weeks we've done over the course of pre-season stood us in, uh, stood us in good stead. And uh, it was it was positive. Yes, the result was uh, was 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 poor, but uh, I just I did think the, the 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 performance was positive, and it gave us a lot to build upon, and it showed a lot of what we were doing over the course of pre-season. But like I say, and I, and I continue to say, it, results is the be all and end all in this business, and if you continue to make mistakes, you will continue to be punished. So uh, that 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 again needs to be uh, hard work on the training ground. And in fairness to this group of lads, um, they've gone out. They spoke to us. It was an open house on Monday. We had a, a, a good conf lab, good chat, and uh, the work that they put in during the week again. So uh, I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to Saturday. To be quite honest. Yeah, are you expecting a reaction against Wickham? Um, I am. I'm I'm expecting a reaction. I'm expecting the lads to bounce back. I'm uh, I'm I certainly uh, looking forward to. It. I think everybody is. Um, we're, we're we're up for it. We know what we're going to get. Um, we we can't do anything about the spectacle. Uh, we can only control our own uh, our own side of things. Um, a Wickham won't change um, from from what they have been over over the number of years. They are what they are, and uh, fair play to them. They've been they've been excellent over the last couple of uh, the last six seven years since since Gaz has taken over. Um, and he showed his credentials in the league. He's, he knows his way around. He's an excellent coach. He cuts his claw accordingly. I have a lot, a lot of time and praise for uh, for Garrett Ainsworth and uh, Richard Dobson. The work they do at Wickham is is, is unbelievable. They're tough opponents. Uh, we know exactly how they're going to play. I think everybody, uh, every member of the, the 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 crowd will know that as well. Um, at times it's uh, it's frustrating, but um, we we know we'll have to overcome that and uh, and stand bare authority on the game on Saturday. And a good chance to start the season with a home win at the Mem in front of your own fans. That would be nice. That would be nice. Again, that's that's the aim. That's the plan. But uh, as you've seen last Saturday, the best laid plans uh, and all that. And you know what they say. But uh, that's that's obviously the ideal uh, the ideal start we're looking for. We didn't have a particularly um, pleasing home record last season, um, which which is something we wanted to rectify. Um, amongst others at, at the club so yeah home game Saturday looking forward to it fingers crossed we can uh, give a good account of ourselves and uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure if we if we turn up and we play to our full potential I'm pretty sure we should be uh, we, we, we should be uh, there or thereabouts yeah how pleased were you with Carl Bennett on Saturday he was one of the positives and um, is it is it something you're looking to build on going into Saturday's game well, Kyle, Kyle done all right last Saturday. Yeah, um, he's he's been positive over the course of pre-season. Um, he's, he's he's been a, he's been a plus point for us. Um, he's he's a member of the squad. Um, he's available for for, for Saturday. Um, as I say, the, the 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 team and the and the and the tactics and the shapes will uh, will stay in house. But Kyle has Kyle has been positive. Yeah, he's come back. Uh, he's come back well in the summer, and he's he's shown up over over the course of pre season. And the weekly, how is Johnson Clark Harris question? Um, is he in contention for Saturday, or you, you're rightly patient with him because you don't want to risk furthering the injury? Well, look, if I if I chuck Jono in uh, last week at Blackpool, if I chuck him in this week at Wickham, and he breaks down, and we lose him for 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 the remainder of the 44 games plus the cup games we, we're talking here 50 games 52 games we could lose a player for over the course of uh, for, for the sake of one or two games so listen risk and reward cause and effect what, what do you actually do do you just chuck him in and and, and, and and flog him and he breaks down and all of a sudden then uh, I'm uh, I'm the villain I, I will sit with me uh, sports science I will sit with me physio we will um, we will sit down um, and we will uh, we will discuss. We'll have a look at Jono. We monitor him closely over the last week. 
uh, and, and see where he is. But there's uh, there's no way in the world I'm going to put a player at risk um, if, if he ain't 100% fit and if he ain't uh, ready to, to, to go in. Certainly not at this stage of the season. Had it been last season, had it been late on and we were in the same situation and we, we, we were desperate for, uh, for, for, for players and, and wins and, and results, it's probably a different story. But at, at this stage of the season, um, Jono needs to be right because I need to make sure Jono's right for the whole season and not just for the, 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 the first month. And it is transfer deadline day in the Premier League and the Championship. What's the approach, do you think, not just for Rovers, but League One and League Two clubs generally? Do you, do you anticipate a lot of loan signings, perhaps, um, you know, signing up talented Premier League and Championship players? Well, I've had a lot of uh, I've had a lot of phone calls this morning from the Premier League and the Championship regarding our players. I've turned them all down. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm wanting to keep them all together. I'm wanting to do something and achieve something. And if the Premier League and the Championship are phoning me up looking for our players, and, I, and, and I'm letting them go, well then that shows a lack of ambition. So any Premier League or Championship manager that phones me up today, they will be given a big no because uh, I, I'm determined to keep this group together. And um, you've got till September the 2nd, haven't you, to add to your squad. So uh, are you quite relaxed in terms of adding to your squad between now and then? No, I'm not relaxed. I would have, I would have liked to have me uh, everything in the in the building. I, I, I wanted. I would have, I would have liked to, uh, to, to to have more. We need more. Um, there's there's no question. Um, but getting him is, uh, is is the issue. Is is, is the problem? Um, there's uh, there's players out there that we want. There's players that we know we want. We've identified. But uh, uh, a matching demands. Um, B getting them across. C the red tape. There's loads of different bits and pieces scenarios. And again, I've I've got um, several bodies here who who are not figuring at the at this moment in time. So there's a, there's a lot of. Uh, there's a lot of variables and, and um, things that needs to be moved around before we can actually uh, go pursuing people in the market. Wish you well on Saturday. Thank you. Thank you very much.